All right, welcome back to another episode. Today I'm with Pete Rich, Pete Rich Guide Service, guiding out in northern Wisconsin, and we're going to talk a little bit about trolling baits. Pete, sucker time is about over for you. It is. It's time to start switching up to some trolling baits. Generally, what's uh, water temperatures wise? When do you kind of make the transition from sucker fishing to trolling? Uh, you know, for me, sucker fishing always kind of shines in that mid 50 into the high 40 temperatures. Right now, we're at 48.6, and we're about one cold front away from me switching. Uh, almost exclu exclusively to trolling. Uh, for me, I really start getting excited about that when we're in that 43, 42 range, down to 40. Uh, once water temps dip below 40, um, on our inland Wisconsin waters that I troll anyhow, I, I feel like once they get below 40, then it's really time to slow down again if you can get some suckers uh, to kind of sucker, drag suckers right before ice up. So speed-wise, for guys that are looking to get out and do some trolling this November, what are we talking? What's what's your boat typically going to be running? Uh, at a dark on a dark body of water like this, um, in dark water I'm going to be two eight to three two. Um, in clear water I'm probably going to be about three to three four. And then to get guys a little bit started on maybe uh, line lengths, if you want to talk about that, like typically on a you know how how deep how deep are you trying to get these baits in the water column? Uh, that's all mostly dependent off of bait fish. Um, you know, for me. The crappie tend to sit, you know, in around, maybe around that 15 foot range. Uh, so something like the 14 inch jake that you're holding right there on a fluorocarbon leader from Stealth Tackle, like their heavy fluorocarbon. Um, that's gonna take about 90 feet of line to get down in that 15 foot range. Um, one thing I do do with the matlocks and headlocks, even though the matlocks got that crazy action and the headlocks at a slow speed kind of seem boring, Big fish love headlocks in the late fall. What I do is I'll take him to the middle pin. That goes for both baits. And your dive curve actually works a little bit more like your summer dive curve on the front pin. On this middle pin, I'll be about three feet down for every 10 feet of line out at three miles per hour. Okay. So you can kind of make your calculations off of there. You know, you don't want to make any mistakes and get below the fish. Um, air to being on the high side of the bait, you know, if you got bait fish 20 feet down and you're trolling 15 feet, you're in the strike zone, fish should come up and grab that. So in addition to say the matlocks and the headlocks, I know we pulled out a 10 inch jake and a 14 yeah, inch jake. When are you gonna choose say a matlock versus a jake? Uh, for me, I don't run any very big spreads. It's very rare that I have a six line spread out. Most of my spreads are gonna be four lines and less. So because I feel like I know where the fish are concentrated, I am going to really just give the fish options and let them choose. You know, if I'm getting a bunch of action on something like a matlock that's a more aggressive, erratic lure, I might pair that with more like a 14 inch jake. I probably wouldn't pair that with a 10 inch jake because it's subtle, but then you get something like a headlock that is subtle. A, a jake pairs really well with that. So does uh, the 14 inch or the flat sided baits is what I would pair when I got something like a headlock working. So up in northern Wisconsin, do you really give, say, like a six inch bait much of a shot this time of year or not? I don't. Okay. Maybe guys do, maybe some guys have some success. Um, I know we do have some Cisco lakes that don't have the big Minnesota tulabies. A lot of our Cisco lakes, at least in the Hayward area, a lot of those Ciscos are like the size of a big depth raider. Um, maybe guys use that there and, and do well. I just always, I go big. All right. So there you go. Hopefully we got a couple tips to help you put a couple fish to the boat this November. Yeah. Thanks, Jeff.